What's up guys, Marlon back with another massive news video for you guys and girls today. So without further ado, let's jump right into this and we're starting off here with GameStop Italy has leaked some new Mortal Kombat 11 details. So I'm really excited about this game. I mean, I cannot believe that it's actually coming to the Nintendo Switch, but here are some details from GameStop Italy. So Mortal Kombat 11 premium edition listing for the game contains some new details that have yet to be officially announced we have included a list of the brand new details down below so the details that we have here guys is a new game engine with even more bloody and bloody scenes we also have new customization system with clothes accessories and move sets never seen before Another thing here is new fatalities as well as a new gore tech system to make the execution even more brutal and they also have strong multiplayer component fully um, oriented towards the esports personalization systems daily news um, constantly updated rewards and improvement matchmaking so this is some very big information here regarding Mortal Kombat 11 I just really need a good adventure mode or something like that I enjoy the Mortal Kombat story modes but all of this sounds really incredible and the fact that Nintendo is allowing bloody and more bloody scenes on the switch lets me know man nintendo is trying to move away from the kitty stuff right i mean mortal kombat people getting ripped to shreds and everything the hype level is real for 2019 for this game of course the trailer the music was corny but the trailer was dope i mean i enjoy seeing classic scorpion and who knows we might get classic scorpion for super smash bros ultimate all right guys let's move on to the next part of the news video here so reggie nader pretty much talked about why e3 is important to nintendo so this is what reggie nader have to say for us it's a very effective opportunity to deliver our message and therefore it's a bit of a no-brainer for us to participate so we know after 24 years of sony being at e3 we know they stepped away from the scene which is going to give nintendo and Microsoft ammunition to fire back so only time will tell 2019 is looking like a very spectacular year for Nintendo I cannot wait for Metroid Prime 4 Bayonetta 3 Mortal Kombat 11 and a host of other games even Pikmin 4 whatever happened to that game only God knows only time will tell the hype level is through the roof I cannot wait for E3 all right guys let's get to the semi to last part of it here so the first Sonic movie poster appears and a lot of Sonic fans are not happy with this movie they're not happy with the way how Sonic looks or what or whatever so I'm guessing he looks like um, I guess plain or I don't know I don't know but I you can't really see how he looks but a lot of people are saying that they don't like the outlook on it and the movie comes out november 2019 and yeah so we're just gonna have to wait and see and this is from the creators of the fast and furious so who knows it kind of makes sense sonic is speed and then fast and furious i get the whole uh picture there but people are not happy with the way how he looks people are saying that he he doesn't look like sonic it's just a guy just just running around with special effects so leave your thoughts down in the comments section down below and all right guys let's get to the ending part of the news video here so reginator on DLC characters for Super Smash Ultimate will be unique and different. So we know we got Persona 5, the Joker. A lot of people are excited about it, including my wife. He shout out to Nicole. She's amazing. But yes, I'm excited for it too as well. 
the Joker actually making it. And I think that was a very clever idea for Nintendo to actually jump on a whole different game series to get those audiences, you know, over there and whatnot. So this is what Reginator have to say. I hope the fans are excited by the announcement of Joker. I hope they are looking forward to the future announcement he added. I hope it gives them um, confidence to just go by the fighter pass. That way they can get the the latest fighters as soon as it becomes available building out their roster for super smash bros ultimate he also added something that was quite interesting this is for persona 5 for the nintendo switch and there's rumors going around saying that it's going to happen when they revealed well not reveal but when joker is actually playable in smash ultimate so this is what he added you know i can't comment on persona 5 that Again, from our perspective, we've been clear. We want all the best content on our platform, all the best content, all the best developers. And so our job is to continue growing the install base for Nintendo Switch to drive engagement of our players to grow the audience. As that happens, then developers will see the opportunity, he said. So the hype level is through the roof. For Nintendo, Persona 5, get hype for the Switch. It is going down. Daddy Sakurai, kudos to you. Amazing game. Smash is selling very well. I mean, the fighter um, passes are selling like crazy. Joker DLC is going to be dope. And also, the other four remaining characters that's left to, be, left to be revealed is going to be very exciting. So, guys, that ends off today's news video. If you enjoyed it, please smash a staggering 150 likes. Let me know you guys want more news videos like this moving forward. Subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Turn on that notification bell to join the brotherhood that we have here. And peace, Switch Gang Nation. We're out of here.